Hi, welcome to Ask an LY. I'm Vivian, I'm a sophomore and I use she, her pronouns. I'm Taya, I'm also a sophomore and I use she, her pronouns. I'm Sarek, I'm a junior and I use she, him pronouns. I'm Ava, I'm a junior and I use she, her pronouns. In this Ask an LY series, we'll be taking you around campus and telling you about different programs that the has to offer, as well as giving interviews to teachers, students, and the wider community so that you can learn more about them. We hope you enjoyed the video and can't wait to see you around campus. Hi, welcome to Lick. Let's go! What makes the Lick Wilmerding High School music program unique? One of the things that makes us unique uh, are the courses that we offer. Um, we offer classes that I've never heard of at other high schools, like music and social justice, like music and the brain, like songwriting and advanced songwriting. Those classes are typically not offered at the high school level, and frankly, not often offered at the college level. It's the epitome of head, heart, hands. You know, we theoretically have to think about music. We have to figure out problem solving. We have to physically play instruments but we also have to play from the soul and play with heart. And I think it's really, performing arts really embodies that spirit of the school. We're pretty self-motivated, self-directed rather. Um, it's, it's hands-on, you're working, uh, and you're trying to figure out how to do your project, whether it's how to build a window, how to make a puppet head. Um, you're trying to figure it out on your own and then you get guidance and advice from each other. Uh, it, it takes them beyond, it transcends their experiences from the classroom to the outside world. We really work very hard on what they call the soft skills. So collaboration, empathy, listening to other people, knowing when to take the lead, knowing when to follow, knowing how to follow and how to take the lead, being creative, adapting. Show up on time, be prepared, you know, give your best effort, put your heart into it. Um, just things that really will translate outside of the classroom, I think is something that we learn in here a lot, whether it's related to music or not, but those skills really transcend everything. I think kids leave here, leave the class, think knowing they're more capable than they thought they were, with a sense of, um, that they can do challenging things. This program is built out of culture because dance is a cultural movement art form. And so students will get an experiment with all these different styles to learn how to connect culture and history and their own aesthetic to movement. Um, it's a community of respect, of integrity, and uh, of discipline to the craft so that they take the work seriously and they can look at their work and feel accomplished. We're like a family. Uh, you get to know each other very, very closely when you're moving together. So I think that process allows for people to open up and be their authentic selves, which I think is amazing. It's a real privilege to be able to play music and to be in community together. And, and so we try to balance, you know, learning our craft, taking the art form seriously, but at the same time having fun and enjoying both our camaraderie as musicians, but also just, you know, being able to have, take joy and play music. I intentionally keep it fun. I make a lot of jokes. I bring in cookies. I um, try and design projects that are really fun to work on. I work collaboratively a lot in my class. I think the fact that I'm still connected as a working artist to the community allows me to stay ahead of the trends, to know what's going on in the world, everything from TikTok dances to dance teams. I, I kind of have my thumb on the pulse of what's happening, so I can either address it or talk about that relevance with the students. Our emphasis on equity is really different than a lot of schools. Um, we have a whole equity statement in the Performing Arts Department where we, we really truly believe that any and all students have the capability to be artists, and it is our job as a department to dismantle the barriers that students face in, uh, in coming to the performing arts. One of our main principles as we cast shows is, is we are looking for 
diversity in our casts in all kinds of ways. Our department has collaborated with the Homeless Prenatal Program. So we've done, this is our second year working with the HPP. And we go and we, we're helped with the food drive. Each concert, instead of ticket sales, we accept donations from the HPP. We kind of try to get a mix of logistical support, actual, you know, monetary support, supplies they might need, but also just getting out and just, you know, helping out with whatever they need. I think that innovation and artists are the, the change that this world needs. So I hope that students take that creativity and activate it in different ways as they go on. And I think one of the other things that is that sets us apart as a school is the focus on the performing arts here. We're not a performing arts school per se, but the performing arts is a really integral part of the education and curriculum here at Lick Wilmerding High School. And we feel a lot of school-wide support for our programs. And um, the students keep showing up, so I think we're doing something right. Thank you for watching. If you have a question that you'd like answered, go email admissions at lwhs.org. Or fill out the form linked in the description below. Make sure to go follow LWHS Life to see more about student life. We hope to see you on campus next year. Go, go Tigers! Tigers!